Good morning, John. Every time people get frustrated with YouTube, I get a lot of messages saying, Hank, you make stuff. Why don't you start a whole new competitor thing to YouTube? And ultimately, I feel like this comes down to a pretty central question when you're upset with a situation in your life. Whether this is about your government or a relationship or your online platform, do you revolt? or do you reform? If you want to reform your government, you vote, you call your congressperson, you go to protests, you propose new ideas, you propose the removal of old bad policies. If you want to revolt against your government, you probably have to take down your government because you can't just leave. And usually that goes badly because the government doesn't want to give up power and so people start to kill each other. And once you start to kill each other, really oftentimes the worst people are the ones who win. But on the internet, if you want to revolt, you could just go somewhere else, right? Maybe not. Here are six reasons why I I have no interest in leaving YouTube. One, it's actually quite good. Like the video player works pretty much every time. It transfers really seamlessly between my phone and my computer and my TV. And as a creator, I get to benefit from a gigantic audience and also the ad sales team of the second largest corporation in the world. Two, and I've thought a lot about this one, ultimately my problems with YouTube are my problems, not my audience's problems. You people. And while I appreciate people who say that they will go to the end of the world for their faves, and I believe you, you are also my fave, and I want to make a good experience for you, and to me, that is the experience that you're comfortable with and that you've had for the last 11 years. Three, YouTube is really good at getting people to watch videos. That's what that somewhat insidious algorithm is designed to do. And while I have some philosophical problems with a company training neural networks to hack the human brain into watching more content, I recognize that every social media platform is doing that, and the ones that don't, are gonna end up losing out to the other ones. Which is the situation we're in right now, so buckle up for that over the next 10 years. And on that same train, number four, I want new people to find my content, so I have to put my content in a place where new people are going to find it. And YouTube shows my videos to new people. Hi, new person, if you're one of them. Here's a big one, number five. YouTube's problems aren't really YouTube's problems. They are the problems that any sufficiently big social video platform would have. You have to get advertisers bought in, you have to monetize for creators, and you have to be open enough that there's so much content being uploaded to your platform that there's no way you can review it all. The moment a new platform got big enough to matter, it would have all of the exact same problems that YouTube currently has. And I don't actually know how to solve those problems. And finally, number six, I'm sentimentally attached. Just like I'm not gonna leave my country when things start to go bad, I just won't abandon this platform to leave it to become a worse place without me. When we criticize stuff, we don't actually have to imagine a solution that works. We just have to imagine a solution that works for us. But communities, in real life or online are more complicated than that. They have tons of different stakeholders with different needs and different wants. When you get further into the details, you find that it's complicated. And I am not saying give in, give up, we're stuck. Obviously not. When you love a place, you should want to work to make it better. Imagining that you can just run away from all the problems into some new place where no problems exist is a self-indulgent fantasy. I care about this a lot. I'm willing to fight for a better YouTube. I know a lot of other people who are too. I think that's how you make a better YouTube, not by starting it from scratch, but by caring enough about a place to work for it. Hashtag this video is also about America. If you have ideas for how to make YouTube better, please leave comments. Ideas are born out of people. And if you want to talk about this stuff in the real world, VidCon Europe this year is focused entirely on creator and industry stuff. So these kinds of conversations. We aren't having like a fan focused community portion of the event this year because that lost a bunch of money last year. But it's March 22nd to 24th. You can find tickets at VidConEurope.com. And also, if you don't live in Amsterdam, you get to go to Amsterdam. It's an opportunity to get together with other creators of all sizes, talk about craft and how you make it work and what you like to do, and also talk to brands and platforms and the kinds of people who enable people who want to make stuff. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.